Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is get convenient windowed resolutions? So this node is very similar to our get supported full screen resolutions node. However, there's two small differences. First of all, this node was added in 4.14 and higher. So you need to be running the latest version of Unreal Engine at this time, 4.14 or a later version. Second of all, rather than just getting all the resolutions that are supported, it's gonna get ones that fit basically the same layout that your current monitor has in terms of its resolutions. And it's gonna make sure it is windowed and fits on the screen. It does not take up the full screen. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let's run this hooked up, pull up our menu, and compared to our full screen, we have a lot less options. But if we run each of these, you will notice something. The window is going to basically be roughly the same, and it's going to fit predetermined ratios, like 16 by nine, 16 by 10, filling up the screen, but it will never go up to the top. We cannot fit a window with a 1920 width and still maintain a vertical height and still maintain inside. It would go to the edges, take up the full screen, and it wouldn't count as a convenient windowed resolution. So these are only ones that are gonna fit within. And let me show you that. If we pull up the source code, this is actually what it does. It's gonna basically give you a minimum height and a width of 1280 by 720. Then it's gonna find some scales and ratios scales based on what it currently is times three times six times you know you can see these ones here and then it's going to give you some ratios then it's going to go ahead and run everything through based on what you have now the 1280 by 720 and see what can fit inside your monitor as long as it doesn't it isn't bigger than the width of the monitor so that way and also it also uh, will check if it's in portrait mode like if you're on a tablet or something to make sure it's not too wide so it's useful for picking resolutions that will be windowed that are not too large for the screen. Because as you can see here, it's running in windowed mode and it's not going to let me take up the full screen and it's not going to let me pick something that's going to give me a poor ratio, such as a vertical ratio on a uh, horizontal display. That is it. It's really simple. It's going to output an int point array. The int point array is basically an array of int points. Int points are structures that contain an X and a Y. So in this case, I'm simply getting them all, breaking them apart, converting my X and my Y, so 1280 by 720, for example, into strings, appending those strings to a combo box, and then putting that combo box on the screen. So that's how you can see, I can use this get convenient windowed resolutions node and plug it into my example and then put all of my resolutions on the screen. That is it. That's going to wrap up our Git convenient windowed resolutions node. It's nice when you want to make sure that your player is running in a windowed mode or when they're running in windowed mode, it doesn't take up the full screen and it actually is a window rather than just covering the entire thing.